Don't put forth half effort unless you're okay with half results. Unless you're okay with not making six figures or seven figures, unless you're okay with losing, then keep giving the effort you're putting forth. To be successful is never convenient. The things that you have to go through is never convenient. And the reason why some of you can give me 120 on Monday, because everything looked good on Monday. Like you're excited, I'm gonna be a millionaire, I'm gonna change the world, I'm gonna do this for this person, I'm gonna buy this for my mom and my children, I'm gonna put them through school and you got all these great dreams and then you get up in the morning and the light punch you in your face. As long as it's a perfect day, you operate in excellence. But as soon as the circumstances change, you quit, you give up. Because we all gonna hit that wall. We're all gonna hit opposition. We're all gonna hit adversity. But I think we all know at the core, it's never about what happens to you, it's about how you respond to it. You can control that. In the midst of escalating levels of anxiety provoked by today's increasing complexity and accelerating change, the thing that any leader or successful person must have is resiliency. The ability to bounce back in the face of every challenge, every opposition, every failure, every setback, and the key is never, ever, ever give up. I need effort from you. I need you to match whatever effort the enemy is putting up. Whoever your enemy is, match the dog on effort. When you get out there, I need you to kill or be killed when you get out there. We ain't playing no more. We ain't taking no prisoners no more. When you get out there, whatever you can get, go get it. Because they gonna get it before you get it. And they ain't gonna give it to you. So you go out there and get what's yours. Ain't nobody out to give you your personal freedom. If you're going to get your personal freedom, they ain't giving it away. You gotta go get it. You gotta go earn it. Test days come. They come over and over and over again. The purpose of these days is so that you can prove to yourself, not the rest of the world, that you are the kind of person that possesses the mental fortitude, the grit, the toughness, the perseverance, the discipline to get things done regardless of what the situation is. And if you become this kind of person who can get things done regardless of what's going on, regardless of what's going on in the economy, regardless of what's going on in your personal life, regardless of how you feel, regardless of the weather, how the f can you be stopped by anything? You cannot. What you fighting for? What's your legacy? What you gonna do? You say you a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you a champ, do you have the mentality of a champ? I'm so strong mentally that when I get tired, that's when I get that dog. That's when I'm ready to go. You gotta start thinking I'm the greediest motherfucker in the world. Not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mountain. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. It's an adaptation process that goes into mental hardening. The body has to you know you're not fucking around with it. The adaptation process comes into suffering, comes to the things you don't want to do. It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy go when you have nothing left that's when it's showtime that you're always looking for a way to get over always looking for a way that you can break through always looking for a way that you can win always looking for a way that you can strike a telling blow when you find a way out of no way when you find breath that you don't have when you find energy that did not exist that's when you find a way if you guys mentally believe you can do it your body will find a way to can make it happen for you because sometimes you'll get hurt and you gotta be able to bounce back you gotta be resilient you might pass the test on the fourth try not the first not the second not the third and you gotta have the ability to get back up and act like you ain't never failed in the first place you not average why you being average you not average why you being good when you not good you great you phenomenal when you gonna step up to the plate you gotta build a level of excellence about yourself that stands the test of time no matter what happens in front of you. You are character true. I know who you are because you're the same person in adversity, in victory, in defeat. You're the same motherfucker. Beast mode is I will not stop when others stop. I will not quit when it gets hard. I will not complain. I will not worry. I will find a way when there is no way. I will make a door when there is no door. I will create finance when there is no finance. I will find an opportunity when it doesn't exist. But I will not be defeated. Download this video and audio by becoming a member at BenLionelScott.com.
Plus, get early access to all new content and hundreds of exclusive videos.